So last time we saw uh, pronominal suffixes on Lamet and Beth prepositions. So if we attach personal pronoun direct your to Beth preposition, it will become be in me. And for Lamet, to me. Also for Beth preposition in me, with me, by me, against me. There are so many translations. According to the context, uh, we will come to know B means in me, by me, with me, or against me. Similarly, for Li, to me, and for me. Lamet, to or for. Then, Bekha, in you, with you, by you. Lekha, to you, or for you. Then, Bak, Bak is in you, with you, by you, or against you. Lak is to you or for you. Bo, in him, with him, by him, or against him. Then Lo is to him or for him. Ba is in her, by her, or with her or against her. And la is to her, with her, sorry, to her or for her. So this prepositions, when it is attached with pronominal suffixes, it can give these translations. In uh, everywhere in the scripture, you will find this uh, pronominal suffixes with prepositions attached. For example, uh, Songs of Solomon 2.15. <coughs> the, the one li lo. The one li. Li means mine or to me. Dodi belongs to me. So this li, di, all this preposition you will every now and then you will find in biblical Hebrew. Then we were talking about the pronominal suffixes on Lamed and Beth preposition for plural or plural Banu and for Lamed preposition is Lanu. Uh, if you see Isaiah 9 6, Lanu, Yelet, Ethen or Nathan. Eleth, for us a child is given. For to, so for us, the word used is lanu. For us a child is given. Banu, in us, with us, by us, or against us. And lanu is to us or for us. Then bakhem, in you, lakhem. To you, then Bakhen in you, familiar, feminine plural, Lakhen to you, feminine plural, Bahem in them, and Bahem to them, then Bahen in them, and Lahen to them. So I want you all to unmute yourself and say after me these prepositions. Only if there is a noise surrounding you, please don't unmute. Say after me, B. 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 In me. Bekha. 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 Ak. Bekha. Ak. O. O. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. For Lamit preposition, Li. 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 Lekha. Lekha. Lak. Lekha. Lak. Lak. Lo. 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 La. La. Now, please uh, don't misunderstand about the lo. For law is to him, but 
if there is alif after lamet that low is no that low is so you have to look to the root that low is used for permanent negation but this low with holam wow is used for to him or for him so everywhere in the scripture you will find this pronominal suffixes on the lamet and bet chapter me banu banu yes. bakem bakem okay. bakem bakem in you familiar feminine plural okay. then bahem 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 and bahen bahen, bahen. then lanu lanu banu banu as lakhem 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 lahem 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 and lahem lahem Lahem. And pronominal suffixes on cup preposition. This cup preposition, uh, they do not directly attach pronominal suffix and say ki, keka, uh, because they use this kekamo instead of that kamo in a poetic sense. So you will find kamenu. Kamuni. From here, this is singular and this side is plural. Kamuni, like me. Like me. Like me. Because cup proposition have the two three minutes like according to so kamoni like me kamokha like you kamok like you kamohu like him and kamoha is like her then for plural kamonu. Like us, kakhem, like you, kakhen, like you, kahem, like them, and kahen, like them. So this kahem is also called kahenna, kahenna. Okay. Repeat after me. Kamoni. Kamoni, 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 Kamoka, Kamoka, like you, like Kamok, you, Kamok, 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 like you, like you, Kamohu, Kamohu, like him, like him, like him, Kamoha, Kamoha. Moha, like her. Kamonu, Kamonu, like her, like us, like us, because like us. Kakem, 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 like you. Kakem, Kakem, like you. Kahem, Kahem, like them, and Kahen, Kahen. Like or ka henna. Ka henna. So three preposition lamet, bet, and uh, kaf. These three prepositions, lamet and bet, uh, it is easy to understand. But for kaf preposition, we use kamu. Everywhere you will use kamu. Kamu.
then pronominal suffixes on main preposition mean can anyone tell me what is the meaning of mean from mean mean means from from preposition means from now if you attach the pronominal suffix on mean preposition i will just uh, show you Now for this mean preposition, if you see here what happens when we attached this mean preposition since uh, you might have heard that this when we attach mean preposition for uh, we have learned the rule on seeing the mean preposition when we attach th this mean preposition uh, to a inseparable word instead of market if we attach inseparable word then for example rh is there so it will becomes instead of uh, here it it uh, heightens to sare meha rh so here what happens when we use mean prepositions this noon is assimilated here and this noon is assimilated here instead of that it it is uh, assimilated to the next root letter as a dagesh so it will become mimmani everybody say mimmani 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 this is or from me mimmani mimmani and this hirek is heightened to segol or it is vowel pointing it changed to segol segol is uh, every time is a, it is a like bond connecting two words together every time you will find that segol is used to connect the two words together
So mimmeni means from me. Mimmeka. 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 Mimmeka is from you. Okay, I will show you slides. Mimeni from me, Mimeka from you, Mimek from you, Mimenu is from him, Mimenu is from him, and Mimena, Mimena is from her. Then main preposition for plurals. Mimenu from Mimenu. us, Nikem from you, Nikem, Miken is from you. Now, here, Mihem or Mihenna, Mihem or Mihenna, and similarly for Mihen or Mihenna. So this is all about this main proposition. Okay, repeat after me. Mimenni. Mimenni. From me. From me. Mimekha. 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 From you. From you. Mimek. Mimek. From you. From you, Menu, 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 Mikhen. From you. Then Mihem or Mihemma. Mihem. Mihen or Mihenna. Mihen or Mihenna. Mihen or Mihenna. For these prepositions, which form. Now, last time I was talking to you about the preposition on L or L. Now, L means unto, and L also mean, means to or unto. So, these prepositions L and L, uh, as I told you, that this word. L, L represents God. You want to sit here? L represents God himself. Now, if you see, uh, L, Can anyone tell me what is the meaning of L?
unto unto this l with seval means unto but this l when you use this l it can mean elohim or l now we have to attach the pronominal suffix when we attach this pronominal suffix and this l means unto when we attach pronominal suffix as a pronominal suffix this sere will be heightened to or segol will be heightened to sere sere it will be heightened to sere now tell me what is the personal pronoun used for first person common singular any direct your correct direct your is used for this now if i use direct your what will it become eli 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 means what my god my god my god so this masorate what they did they have changed the format of this preposition and instead of this ali for this preposition they use ali allah do you want to say ali allah ali Allah. this change is uh, this optional case because if anyone to anyone want to say unto me if they will use this the meaning of this is my god my god my god so that's why instead of direct your they have changed it into the pathacure pathacure this you must remember instead of that they have changed to pathacure once again we will come to slides okay so li means unto me elka elka is unto you like unto you allow unto him and eleha unto her similarly for al preposition alai unto me alekha unto you alaik unto you allow unto him and aleha unto her for plurals elenu to us alekhem now can anyone tell me why this uh, till now it is used as a sere why it becomes khatib tata this no here yeah but for khem khen hem and hen khem khen hem and hen they are a little heavier and when they are attached to this preposition according to the third syllable back rule this sere under alif is changed to khatib patha so you have to remember this that's why alif under alif the vowel changes to khatib patha it doesn't changes to shiva because they doesn't they cannot prefer 
compound Shiva. They prefer compound Shiva and Hatik Prathak is a compound Shiva. So Alehem, Alekem. So that's why we say Shalom Alekem. I'm saying Shalom Alekem. Alekem Shalom. Alekem Shalom. Shalom. Alekem Shalom. Then Aleken, Aleken is to you. Alehem is to them. Alehen is to them. Feminine. Then Alenu to us. Alekem to you. Aleken to you. And Alehem to them. And Alehen to them. Okay. Repeat after me. Eli. 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 Alekha. 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 Alike. 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 Allow. 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 And Aleha. 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 Her. Then Aleha. for L preposition, ally. 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 Aleha, Aleka, 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 Alike, 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 Allow, 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 Aleha, 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 and then no. To us. to us, Alekem, Alekem, to you, to you, Alekem, 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 Alehem, 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 Alehem. Them. Then Alenu, Alekem, 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 them. Uh, Almost uh, finish. So one more thing, sir, I wanted to ask was when you said about Shalom Alekhem. When you're saying Shalom Alekhem, that's, that's when you're using <clears throat> um, masculine plural. Yeah, because no, this this is used for common people also. Shalom Alekhem. Okay. Common plural also we can use this. Okay, so next time uh, we are going to use, uh, study imperfect on chapter 16, that is imperfect and imperative, regular verb, that is imperfect or imperative. So today we are going to Solve assignment number 14.
फिफ्टीन सॉरी फोर्टीन इज रिमेनिंग ना फोर्टीन फोर्टीन Who was absent for last vocabulary test? Sir, so, uh, I no, I was not absent. Sir, I did not. Uh, I was there for that. I took the dictation, sir, but uh, then I had to leave. Anyway, there is no option. Next time you have to do thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Everyone who didn't do because vocabulary is our waiting block. If we Achha, understand, okay, lots of subject, lots of words to remember. <laughs> that I have written it. It's there. So we have finished this chapter. Only this yes and n. They are the opposite word. Yes means there is, and n means there is not. The examples are given in your workbook. So you can read here. Here it is given. Ashley Rav. Yes means there is much, much is mine, and here they have given example. En la walat, she had no child. Yes is means it is a there is, and en means there is not. Have to remember only this, otherwise there is no nothing to teach about this yes or en. Okay, we are going to. Say vocabulary. Say after me. Oe, oe, oe. Oe means oe. enemy. 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 Lf. Lf. Lf means thousand. Thousand. Hsm. Hsm. Hsm means rain. Hsm. And zakar. Smell. <gasps> and Nawal. 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 Nawal means full. And can anyone tell in the Bible whose name was Nawal? Abigail's husband. Yeah. Nawal. Murkh. <laughs> And Nekeva. 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 Female. Then see, there are now I am giving you uh, already there are uh, synonym. Two, two words for, can anyone tell me what, which are the two words for female? Nashim. 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 Yeah. Nashim. Nashim. Isha. And this third word also. Email. Nekewa. 
Mel, Zakar, Anashin, and Adam. Word is Ish. And then Selem. Selem is image, likeness, or idol. Torah. Torah. Hearing voices. Torah. 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 Torah is Torah. law or instruction. Law or instruction. Works. Arak. Arak is he slew, he killed. Arak. 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 He slew, he killed. Then Kala is he finished, he completed, he perished. Uh, no. Allah. Then Ulai. Ulai means perhaps. Ulai. Epo. Epo means where, what Epo. kind. Gam. Gam means also even. Every now and then you find this word you can. And oath. Oath means still, still more or again. There are the numerals. Numerals one, two, and then they have given. Okay, we'll learn numerals. Say after me. Ekhat. Ekhat. Masculine and Akhat, that is feminine. Akhat. Akhat and Akhat. Akhat. Akhat and Akhat. Akhat. And when that. Please listen. When that words number one is put into the construct state, it will be akat or akat. Or feminine, it will be akat. Or masculine, it will be akat. Or feminine, tau ending, and for masculine, dalit ending. For number two, say after me. Shenaim. 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 Number three is Shalosh. 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 Dosha. 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 Or Arba or Arba. 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 This is four. Arba. Then Hamesh. Hamesh is five. And Kamisha. 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 Then Shesh and Shisha. Shisha. Six. Number six. Or number seven. Seva. Shiva. 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 Ah. Shiva. Or number eight, Shemone. Shemone. Or Shemona. Shemona. Or number nine, Teshai. 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 Isha. Teshai. And for number 10, Esher, Asher. 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 Asher.
Fashion. Fashion. Very important. It is very important to remember this number. I'm going to take test on these numerals. So make sure that you learn with Hebrew spelling. And also you need to remember the construct because all this one to ten, which we just uh, learned, it is not used uh, as its format is but it is used in construct format. So we must remember the construct form also. For example, number one, Akhat, Akhat. Number two, Shene, Shete. Shalosh, Shaloshet. Arba, Arbaat. Khamosh, sorry, Khamesh. Then Khameshet. Shesh, Sheshet, Sheva, Shivat, Shemone, Shemonat, Tesha, Tishat, Esher, Ashere, Ashere. Uh, this one to ten if you know then it is easy for you to learn all the numerals for example ashara ashara is 10 so if, for example if you want to say uh, 20 shenaim 20 then if you want to say 40 then you can use uh, Arbaim, 40. So like this, uh, I'm not making you confused, but only remember number 1 to 10. If you remember number 1 to 10, you can go till 100. Only for 100, the uh, Hebrew word is different. Me'at. Me Meeth is or me, Mia is the number for hundred, and as we learn, uh, LF LF is used for thousand. So, in Genesis, if you read Genesis, uh, you will come to know how they use these numerals. For example, one hundred and twenty-seven years old. So, how to use that in construct state? And how to use, you'll easily remember if you learn number 1 to 10. So, we, are, we almost finished uh, chapter 15. When we will finish chapter 16. Chapter 16 is imperfect and imperative. When we will finish chapter 16, that time I am going to test, take a test on vocabulary plus these numerals. Is it okay? Okay. Uh, also, in coming two or three weeks, I'm giving going to do one uh, exercise. We have to do one exercise because you all are now in advanced stage. So I'll just give you. <laughs> Choose any scripture portion. It will be good if you put your videos on. Everyone, I request you put your videos on. So, uh, you have to choose any one chapter. 
don't choose small chapter choose a big chapter having more than 25 to 30 verses you have to choose this chapter and start reading from now so what you have to do you will be given 5 to 7 minutes you have to read and as well as you must uh, translate it to english uh, you must understand all its meaning you are reading getting i will show you a scripture portion Example I will show you. Akhar ha devarim ha elle haya devar yauve el Abraham ba makhje lemor al tira Abraham anoki magen lak shekarika ha rebe meu. Here God is. Uh, there is an encounterment or we can say that God is visiting Abraham in chapter 15 and he is promising him don't fear Abraham I am with you, I am your uh, shield and your exceedingly great reward then why over Abraham Adonai Yahweh Ma Titen Li Ve Anoki Holek Ariri U Ven Meshek Bethi who Dameshek Eliezer. And here Abraham says, What Lord, what you will give me? For I will go barren, childless, and uh, the one who is called Eliezer, Shemek Eliezer, he will be the uh, Lord of my house. Why you more Abraham, Hen Lee, Lo Nathatha. Then Abraham, then God said to him, Lo Nathetha Zara Vehine Ben Bethe Yoresh Oti. See this all we see the pronominal suffixes used. Li Oti. All these pronominal suffixes we see here being used. Vehine Devar Yahweh Elao Lemor Lo Irashika Ze. Ki im asher yetse mimeika hu yarashika. The one who will come out of your uh, seed, he will be having in inheritance. Why yet so? Why yet say otho ha hutsa? Why yomer ha et na ha shamayma? U sepor a kokavim em tukal lispor otam vayomer lo ko ie zaraika. So, what I want to from you is you have to read the whole scripture with its meaning. Okay, you, you take any of your favorite scripture portion. You can say now any of your favorite scripture book will open for The Psalms will do. Which Psalm? The one two. One? One five zero. One five zero. It's a small one, six verses, but a good one to start with. I, I want at least twenty-five to thirty verses. Okay, some other psalm then for but from the Psalms. At least for me, I don't know about this. I would see a bigger, something which has 20 verses, 25 verses. Okay. We'll select it. Anyone, anyone from here, uh, tell your scripture portion, we'll open that. Psalm 23. No, Psalm 23 is not allowed. <laughs> because it's very short, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Any scripture portion from Genesis to Malachi? 
Daniel, Daniel, something from Daniel. It would be very good, Daniel, because Daniel is so hard book. It is having Aramaic words. Now you tell me any scripture portion you feel hard. We'll try to read here. Anyone? So very uh, easy one is the book of Ruth and Jonah. Yeah, Ruth. Sir, is the language that is used in the five books different from uh, the the language used in the other uh, books? The few scripture portion from Daniel and from I think it is from Ezra. Some scripture portion are from Aramaic, otherwise it is Hebrew. Now, for example, I will show you this Genesis 22 because you are not quoting scripture portion. Uh, Genesis 22. Why ye he akar ha devarim ha ele ve ha elohim nissa? Nissa means tested. After this, God tested at Abraham, why yomer allow Abraham, why yomer hineni? So God called Abraham, Abraham, and Abraham said, Here I am. Why yomer wakna et bene binka? Quak means it is word from lakha, tek. Quak na. See, God also using this language. Na means like petition. Na means you, it is used for pleads. Quak na et binekha et yakhidekha means you are only begotten, only one son. Asher ahavta. Ahavta means which you love. Et itzkak. The meaning of itzkak is you are made me to laugh. It suck. The El Lekha El Eretz Ha Moria Veha Alehu Sham Le Ola Al Akar Ha Harim Asher Omer Alekha. So go to the mountain Moria and the place that I will show you, there you offer him as a sacrifice. So what I want you to come to this stage that any scripture when you read, like you are reading in mother tongue, Marathi, Hindi, or in English, like you are reading in your mother tongue, you must read now, you must start reading the scripture portion uh, as if you are getting, if any vocabulary you are not familiar, then you can use that uh, King James uh, e sword Bible, there you will find all the vocabulary, where you will stumble. So, by Yashkem Abraham, by Boker, Boker, by Yakosh et Kamor, Kamoro, by Kak et Shene, Neara, Ito, et Itzkak Beno, by Ebakwa, at say Ola Vayakam Vayalek El Hamakum Asher Amer Lo Ha Elohim. Then Abraham took Etse, Etse means uh, wood. He took wood and all the material required for sacrifice. He took his only begotten son Isaac and he went to the place where Elohim showed him. Bayom Ha. Shelishi, see the word which you which we use. Shelishi means three. Three. After three days, Vaisha Abraham et Enam. He lifted his eyes. Enam means eyes. He lifted his eyes. 
after three days, when he reached that place, he lifted his eyes, eyes, and Vayare, and he saw at Makom, the place, Merakok, from afar, he saw that place which Elohim showed. So you know all this story of testing of Abraham. So I want you to take whole chapter, one whole chapter. Uh, first of all, read that in English, no problem. And then find out all the vocabulary. And then you have to read that chapter fluently. Okay? Yes, sir. Psalm 33 sounds good. Okay, okay. Take any sum. It must have more than 20. 20 words. Yes, sir. That's 20. 30, I, I come compromise. What is the answer? How do we get the Hebrew? Is it looking up the. Scholar Gateway. Whenever during a daytime you get time to read, see, uh, great shalom to love their love the scripture of Torah. Great shalom will have them. So, if you are loving Torah, please read the Bible. If, if, we. Uh, Maybe in some months, you'll be completing this advanced level course. And somebody will ask you, we have completed three courses. And please show me, read something for some scripture portion. What will be your reply? So, I know that uh, everyone will get time during the day, at least half an hour or one hour you get, will get. So, during that time, at least start reading. Not only what I have given the homework, but you uh, read multiple chapters from Hebrew Bible. I'll show you how to read it. See, you have to open uh, my sword app from this Android mm -hmm. mobile, and simultaneously you have to open. So, what's the name of the app? My sword. Yeah, my sword. And simultaneously... What's the name of the app, sir? I will share in group. Huh? Simultaneously, you have to open this blue letter Bible. Blue so letter what's Bible. What's the name of the app? My sword. Okay. Even you are working there, also you can read. Because now nowadays people are looking into mobile, so no one will watch you whether you are reading Bible or you are reading any messages. Students also can read. The person who is working also can read. And those who are homemaker, they also can find out the time. Okay. So verse uh, Isaiah 66. Ko amar Yahweh hashamai is e vaharets. Now something I don't understand, suppose, then I will use this my sword application. There, the saith, what is the word for say, MR? What is the word for footstool? Regal. So simultaneously, I will switch over to here, and here I will find Khadom Ragela. Regal 
means ragella that that much you will understand that it is put into the construct state therefore it is ragella so like that you can read the whole chapter okay it is very easy to download two things blue letter bible and this my sword app So what's the first one? Blue Blue Letter Bible. Yeah, B L B. So can you please? And from repeat? Google, you have to find this My Sword E Bible app. My Sword E Bible app from Google. And it will not find in Play Store. It will not find in Play Store. And what about the Blue Letter Bible? Yeah, Blue Letter Bible you'll find in Play Store. Okay. So the blue letter Bible is coming in English. How do we go to the Hebrew version? Uh, for blue letter Bible, I will send link. Okay. In group. And uh, Android also, uh, I will try to send link. That is in Google. okay if you are having workbook with you please open exercise number 15 oh, sorry 14 one of the suffixes on for noun and as we have finished chapter 15 uh next sunday your assignment number 50 is due you saw and sent to me next sunday i will show you that also which is the first question Translate the following Hebrew sentence into smooth English. Assume that all of them are complete sentences. Note, even though these phrases and sentences might be taken from the Old Testament, as indicated by the footnote, do not use a Bible translation to help in translating them. Open for your assignment. Okay, this one, na. No? Yes, sir. Let's take first example. Who will read? May I? Yeah. Laka esa et nash nashat be et bana be be et bamok ta. The et kol la la show by by two el eret. La cat means she took. What is the translation? Anyone who has solved the paper from henceforth, even though you will uh, submit your assignment to me, I will just have a look. And when I am showing this uh, answers. So that time only you have to correct it. Okay, may I tell the translation? Yeah. I will. Uh, if the his wives or women, sons and daughters, as as all his slaves and cattle, all of his land.
Lakat Esau. Esau is the proper name. Esau took et Nasha with Ana with Benotha et Paul Abshot Beto El Eretz. So Esau took his wives and his son and his daughters and all the person souls of his house into a land into a land this will be the correct translation lakhap means he took esau took et nashau that is his wives ve et banau his sons ve et bano thau that is and his daughters ve et pol nafshot and all the souls or all the person of betho his house into a land into a land so you can correct if there is a, any wrong then second one sister sangeeta can you read yes sir ame beyom Ahu, hin, hinne, el, elohenu, za, ze. Uh, we, ame, and, and said that that day. Yeah. Um. Die in that day. In the day. He said, in that day. In that day. The Amer Bayom Abu. He said, in that day. The Hine is low. Behold. Yeah, behold. 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 Elohim. Is God. Is God. So they is what? Elohenu is our God. Is our and J is this. Behold, this is our God. Behold, this is our God. So best translation is and he said in that day, comma in inverted comma. Behold, this is our God. Right. Next. Is our God. Is Elohenu is there. Elohenu. Elohim. Okay. Our God. Okay. Third one, we will try. Sister Asharani, can you read this third one? Yes, sir. Shamia. Shamia. Bish. Bishda. Moab. Pakad 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 Yehu Yehua Yahweh Yahweh Ek Yamu He heard in the country of Moab Yahweh visited his people. He heard in the field of Moab, Shamiya be bish day. Shade means field. So be b is the preposition. She heard in the field of Moab, ki pakyat. Pakyat means he visited. Yahweh visited or cared for et amo means his people. Very nice. So can you please repeat that sentence? Yeah. Number three. He heard in the field of Moab. She heard in the field of Moab that Yahweh had visited, that Yahweh had visited 
This is this is regarding, I think, uh, Naomi. Yeah, visited for his people. This is referring to Naomi, no, sir. Pardon? This refers to Naomi, no? What she felt. Yeah. Yeah. Of Ruth. Yeah. That is Ruth one six. Sir. Uh... Bishadha, Bishadha means uh, in the country, na? No, in the field. Sade is the field. Sade is the field. Bishadha, Bishadha is the field, in the field. B is the proportion over here. Next, Akshay, fourth one you read. I have the. I will. I will allot uh, total. There are uh, five translations. No? Five or six. There are six. Okay. Fourth one you read, and fifth one, brother George, you read. Okay. Alken I have tea Mitso Teka Mizza Ha Umi Umi Pads Umi Pads. Yeah. Uh, is it sir? Uh, therefore I uh, love your commands more than gold. <coughs> Yeah. Al can is therefore a happy means I will love. Mits so teka is your commandment. May zahab to me pass more than silver and more than gold. Therefore, I love or I will love your commandment more than gold or more than silver. More than gold and more than silver. Okay, number five, Brother George. They are going rabim al. Khair Asot Ve Ameru Ish El Rehu Al Me Asa Yave Kaha Lair Hagedola Asot Averu, that means pass. Going means nation. Rabim is many. And many nations will pass Al Ha'ir against this city. Hazot is this, this city. So the first translation is many and many nations will pass over against this city. Then, what is the meaning? Bottom. We Ameru Ish El Reu. And they will say to one another. They will say to one another. What they will say? Al Me. That means, why did Asa Yahweh Taka Lair Hagedulim Hazot. Why did Yahweh do thus to this great city? Why did Yahweh did this to this great city?
Okay. We'll translate this, Jeshurun. The people did not obey the words of old prophet. People did not obey the words of the old prophet. Say excuse me. Say excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is not there in uh, exercise 14. We don't have it in our ex uh, this exercise. No? We are not having this. Yeah, we have it. I'm not having it. I don't have this. Show your page. Everyone has this exercise? Yes. Yes, we have it. Turn your page, Gita. Next page. This is 14, no? Yeah. We're not having this. We both are not having this. 48, page 48. Yeah, 48 pages only uh, missing. Only blank I got. Blank okay. I got. So, yes, sir. Might be page mistake. Printing, printing mistake. Jasurun, you try this. Okay. People did not obey the words of the old prophet. So who, who will try? Mr. Sanjot? Anyone want to try this word? People did not obey the words of the old prophet. See, for the people, you have to use ha am. Did not obey lo shama. Lo shama ha am. The words that is et divre, divre, hanavi, hazaken. Zaken is old man. Once again, I will tell you. Lo shama ha am et divre ha navi ha zaken. Then number two. The king knew that the words of the man of God were good. King knew that the words of the man of God were good. What is the word used for new? Yada. So Yada Hamelek Ki Tovim Ki Tovim Vibre Ish Elohim. The king knew Yada Hamelek Ki, the words of man of God were good, is Tovim Vibre Ish Elohim. So how do we understand the placing of the word? All the words are there, but uh, like what I... Main thing is vocabulary. If you know vocabulary, uh, then you have to arrange the sentences VSO, verb, subject and object. So then for, for the example, first one, for the first one, uh, to obey, but you put low first. Low is known. Huh? Yeah. But Shamay is uh, 
वर्ना we cannot say shamay lo lo shamay is perfect one yeah. then third one brother george can you translate the land which god has given to the people is great and good the land which god had given to people is great and good no sir man anyone tried this it is great and good what is the word for great great is gedola 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 ve towa towa means good gedola ve towa ha arets land gedola ve towa ha arets asher nathan elohim la am so can you repeat that gedola ve towa आरेट्स अशेर नाथन एलोहिम ला आम टू द पीपल और एथ हा आम अल्सो विल वर्क then the fourth one what is the word given pardon nathan okay thank you fourth one is the people of the city took all the silver and the gold to their land It says to their head. We translate with remaining. The people of the city took all silver and all gold into their head. लाख Once again, I'll repeat. Lakhat M people took Haer people of the city took Eth Kol Hakesef all the silver. The Eth Kol Ha Zahav all the gold. Le Rosham over their head. then fifth one old prophet the old prophet sat upon the ground all the day and called in a great voice what have we done what have we done old prophet is old is used in hebrew zaken sat yashav So Yashav, 
Hanavi. Yashal means sat. Hanavi, Prophet Hazaken is the old. Old Prophet sat. Al Adama sat upon a ground. Kol Yom. Kol Yom. All day. Quara and called Be Kol Gadol with a great, in a great voice. Ma Ashinu. Ma Ashinu. What have we done? Ma Ashinu. What have we done? Okay. I have immediately one session after this, so we'll go a little fast. Circle the correct spelling in the following word. There are total 10. Can anyone tell our house? First one. Sushonu. First one. Our horse. horse. Susenu. Correct. Second one. Susa. Susa. Correct. Your word? Deva Rikem. Deva Rikem. Rikem. Correct. Then her mare? Sata. Tita Heni is her. Not certain because both are wrong. No, wrong. Huh? Both are wrong. Its counsel? Atse to. Atse to. Tato. First one is where there is a Khatik Tatha. Because guttural Ain refuses Shiva. Sixth one. Susi. My horse. Susi. Susi. Seventh one, our horse. Our Susen. Susen. Correct. Eighth one, their mare. So take him. Ninth one, my mare. Susutan. Susutan. Our word. Devarenu. Our word is Devarenu. Okay. Still, if someone of you, some of you have any doubt, you can call me, you can ask me. We finish this session now. And remember, uh, read at least one chapter. It would be good if you read daily, daily some verses in Hebrew. That will uh, create a desire of love towards the Torah. Torah ke prati apka jo prem hai wo badhta hi jayega. Jaise aap uske Torah mein jada se jada samay bitaye. Love for Torah will day by day it will increase if you read the scriptures in Hebrew. Sangeeta, can you close the session with prayer? Yes, sir. something which I'd like to say is, um, uh, I mean, I want to thank God. Uh, my daughter has been really struggling hard with her admission for MPhil clinical psychology. 
and she's been giving a lot of entrance exams and interviews and somewhere there was this dejection where she was not but i want to praise god that she got in one of the good universities uh, she has to go to delhi but yes uh, god is with her so i want to thank god for that praise god glory to yahweh elohim amen Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, we are here, all of us, before your throne, wanting to learn your language, the kingdom language, Lord. Lord, we praise you and thank you for giving us this opportunity and for choosing us, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Lord, special, special blessings upon Raul, sir, Lord. For, for all his efforts and all his patience and, and everything, Lord, we pray. We ask for special blessings upon him and his family, his workplace, and everything for him. Lord, each one of us, our families, and in whatever workplace that we are in, Lord, Lord, be with us. Give us the wisdom to lead our everyday lives, Lord, which are according to your will. Yes, Lord, I want to thank you for Ananya's admission. Thank you for everything that you have done in each one of our lives, Lord. Yes, Lord, just, just a big, big thank you, Lord. We ask all this in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Can everyone unmute yourself and say after me? Uh, I'm saying Shalom Alekem. You have to say Alekem Shalom. Okay? Shalom Alekem. Alekem Shalom. Shalom Alekem. Alekem Shalom. From yesterday morning, uh, 6.30, there was one session from... Uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, morning 6.30, then uh, evening also, and today afternoon, about the shalom, meaning of the word shalom. Have I spoken to you about the shalom? Someone and needs to move. Shalom ke baare mein kabhi aapke saath baat kiya hai kya? Anyone remembers? Yes. Reaching oh. the next time for 10 15 minutes, I will take the session on shalom because this word shalom carries multiple of meaning. Uh, and also, please remember me in your prayer today. Immediately, seven o'clock, there is one new session started last two weeks back. It started so, and also on Monday, uh, I have started offline course. One area near Pimpri, I have started offline course and people are giving responses. So those who are called by God, let them come. And those who are really hungry for this Hebrew language, uh, pray that they should come and they should learn. Also pray for my health uh, from yesterday onwards. I got a fever. It was 102 yesterday. Today also, but 